Many people around the world enjoy one of the greatest marvels of modern technology every day, instant audiovisual communication. But Professor Adrian David Chalk from City University in London says he wants to transcend what he calls the glass barrier. In the real world, we can open up the glass, open the window, and we can, we can touch, we can taste, we can smell in the real world. Let's start with the sense of taste. Chalk says different tastes are triggered by molecules that cause chemical ionization of the surface of the tongue, sending the brain electrical signals of a specific amplitude and frequency that are possible to reproduce with two electrodes. You put these two silver electrodes in your mouth, you put your tongue in between, and then it stimulates electrically your tongue and you get a virtual taste perception in your brain. So far, scientists have reproduced sour, salty, sweet and bitter tastes. Another device called Senti plugs into a smartphone and can spray tiny clouds of selected fragrances such as lavender or jasmine, smells of fruits or even coffee when prompted by the other side of the conversation. Basically what happens is that we have an app, it connects to the internet and then this will release a scent from your mobile phone. Santi holds a cartridge with around 100 different smells, but when used up, has to be replaced. The sense of touch comes through a ring-like device. Connected wirelessly to the smartphone, it transmits a gentle squeeze when the other person does the same during a conversation. I can be in London and my friend can be in Tokyo and I can squeeze my finger and then they will get a squeeze on their finger through the internet. It's a way of touch communication with small mobile devices. Chok says he hopes devices such as these will someday be added to smartphones and even smart houses, transcending the current limitations of long-distance communication. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.